Hi, I'm Jake, and welcome to Keithley Briefly. Today, we'll be talking about troubleshooting remote communications with the measurement instrument. The three interfaces we're going to be talking about today are GPIB, USB, and LAN. The first step to troubleshooting any of these uh, interfaces would be ensuring a good connection. That means securely connecting any USB or LAN cables and screwing down any GPIB uh, adapters or connectors. For GPIB specifically, you want to make sure that any drivers for your adapters, your instruments are installed. And if that doesn't fix your connection issues, you can also change your instrument address. Usually this would be uh, if you have two instruments on the same address, it'll cause some communication issues. So you want to make sure that those are different if you have multiple instruments on the same uh, GPIB connection. For USB, you're able to change your USB port. And if that doesn't fix it, you can try resetting your instrument or your PC. USB is a simpler interface, and so there aren't as many troubleshooting steps. For LAN, you're able to ping the instrument using your command prompt. Uh, this will ensure that your PC and your instrument are communicating. Uh, you can also make sure that your network configuration uh, agrees with your settings. In general, you want to make sure that you have a visa installed, such as Tech Visa or NI Visa. Um, if you're still having communication issues, you're going to want to use a Star IDN query. You can use this in any kind of programming interface. Uh, some of the easier uh, interfaces might be the Tech Visa Talker Listener or the NIVISA NIMAX input output functionality that allow you to send uh, one command at a time. This will tell you if you're getting an identification string from the instrument and if your PC and instrument are actually communicating. If you're still finding that your instrument's in local mode and is not in this, the remote command set, you can send a system remote command and that will kind of force the instrument into remote mode. If you continue to have any further issues with communication, you can contact us at Tektronix Technical Support. We'd be happy to help.